Hey everybody, what's going on? Alan here. Welcome to the Gibson Garage Speed Shop. And uh, I gotta say thank you for tuning in, of course. I appreciate all your guys' help, your views, your likes, comments, your subscriptions, all of that stuff. I, got, I hate to do it, I know no one likes to hear it, but I gotta ask, please, hit that super thanks button down below. Donate to the channel so we can get this um, lift up that I got in the backyard. I've gotta pour some concrete. And uh, the, the more help I can get, obviously, the easier that's going to go. Uh, I do got a friend that's willing to help me out pouring it. So I just got to help pay for some materials. But moving on, in this video I'm going to show you that I have never TIG welded a day in my life. Not once. But thanks to Yes Welder, I got the opportunity to learn. They sent me out the brand new flux 135 pro it's like less than a month old out on the market you can get it on amazon i'll put links down below there's also another video where i did the unboxing on this guy so we're not going to go through all that but i'll put that link down below as well today we're just going to be focusing on the lift tig portion of it and i didn't realize there was a difference in tig welding and lift tig and when it showed up i'm like well where's the pedal there's there's no pedal well, I had to watch a video, so now I'm like, I'm pretty much pro, even though I've never even touched a torch. But Lift Tig does not have a pedal. Apparently, you've got to make contact to the item with your tungsten to create the arc, and then, and then kind of like MIG, I guess, you've got to adjust on the dial there your amperage and stuff, and, and yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. So we're going to get into that. I'll show you how it works with this guy. Uh, and then you guys can judge my quality afterwards, but uh, let me show you what I got here So this is the flux 135 pro and yes, it's dirty. It's got some Polishing compound all over the place from when I was polishing out the headlights for the Magnum We're gonna switch this guy to lift TIG Booyah and let's see how does it work we can go Okay, so we can change the amperage, and I believe there's probably a sheet on like suggested amperages for suggested thicknesses. Let's check it out. So it's not super definitive, but uh, because there can be so many variables, I'm guessing in material, um, it can be anywhere from one millimeter to 1.6 millimeter, which is a sixteenth. Can be anywhere from 20 amps to the full 135 amps depending on your workpiece thickness and your tungsten needle so yeah who knows we're just gonna have to start and then see where it happens all right so the first thing you're gonna have to do after purchasing your flux 135 is get yourself a torch it does not come with it it comes with the ground clamp and the stick clamp and then of course the MIG gun itself. But it does not come with the torch. So I ordered one from them, or actually they were nice enough to send me out one afterwards. So this is what was in the package. I don't know if this comes with it or if they threw this in there for me. I imagine it probably comes with it because you can't operate without it, it looks like. cord got a lot of cord here that's good and lots of cord okay let's just set this here set that in there twister on clockwise and then I've got to hook up the bottle you are gonna need I'm doing aluminum so you are gonna need hundred percent argon what I don't know is if you're doing stainless steel do you need hundred percent or can it be mixed I don't know so I just picked up this bottle. It's like one of the smallest ones you can get. And uh, it feels a little light already from when I picked it up. I'm wondering if it's leaking. That would be disappointing. It's expensive. And I hate to think that the valve is leaking. And the red cap is gone. Where'd the red cap go? Okay, so after I hooked up the regulator to the bottle, I just had this quarter inch nipple coming out or it's a quarter inch pipe thread, a 3 16 nipple. And this hose here that I just had laying around, it came with the welder. And I had to go to the store to get a 3 8 inch 
a swivel adapter to go from the end of this to the end of that. So that's that there. Now I can use the gun. Bottles over there on the floor. This stuff's close together. I got my tungsten rod here. I'm gonna go with 16 for now. I'm getting it nice and dirty, which I guess is something you don't wanna do. But setting up the gun, it comes with this long collet body. Let's screw that in first. Ugh. And this gasket can go on before or after. Pop that on. Then you wanna choose the right uh, collet for the tungsten you're using. I need the 16th inch, which is the smallest one here that it comes with. There we go. That'll slide in the back. Oh, uh, well, I don't think we need to put that on just yet because it'll just fall out. Then it comes with two or three uh, different gas nozzles. And if I have four, five, and six are what we got, I'm gonna do, we're gonna start with a four. That way it focuses the gas more directly at the work area. Now, we gotta sharpen our tungsten. To sharpen the tungsten, you want to go with the grain. Don't hold it like this, you know, and sharpen it like that. You want to go like into the wheel if the wheel's spinning this way. And apparently, too, there's a certain type of wheel you want to use, not just your standard grind wheel there. But that's all I got. So we're going to use a standard grind wheel with bits of aluminum and other metal stuck in there. And we're going to sharpen it just like this. This might be a stupid question, but do I grind the blue end or the clean end? I'm going with the clean end. All right, so with the collet in place, you can slide the needle in there or the tungsten. Put on the back, that O-ring on there. And now we're, uh, we're in shape here. I'm going to throw on my brand new helmet here from Yes Welder also. And I got my gloves and I'm just going to do some practice welding here. Uh, turn on the machine. This is... Turn that up. It's about 15. There we go, that should work. And here we go, wish me luck. I can't see a dang thing. I can't, I can't even see. I don't understand. It's like it's already too bright for this helmet. Just having, it's like on all the time. What's the deal there? What's the delay? Don't want to delay. Auto darkening. Light sensitivity is all the way down. But it's, maybe if I close the garage door. Okay, well the helmet's not really working right, but we'll press on here. We'll try anyway. Jesus, keep forgetting the gas.
Well, this is quite frankly as embarrassing as you think it is. This is, it's embarrassing. Come on. We can't even get it to melt together. It's not even melting together. I don't understand why it worked. I don't know. I'm running out of gas. Ugh. I don't have any idea what's going on. I am terrible at this. All right, so we're gonna try something even crazier. They sent me some stainless rod as well. And this is steel, it's not stainless, but it's steel. <laughs> and uh, this probably isn't gonna go any better, but I'm curious to see what happens. I don't know, it can't be any worse than what I'm doing. I can just remember to turn the gas on the first time well at least that kind of looks like beads of something but I doubt it's actually welded to this. <laughs> it's just piling up on the galvanized. We got mild steel galvanized with stainless steel rod. I'm sure that's fine. I think I need more amperage, but I'm just wasting gas. I'm out of gas. I'm out of gas. That was money down the drain. Well, wow. What a waste of time, money, and frankly an embarrassment to myself and probably anyone else out there who's beginning too. They probably didn't even do this bad. Like I have never touched a TIG welder before. Never had any schooling on any kind of welding at all whatsoever, even though I've done a lot of MIG welding. I probably haven't done that right ever. I feel terrible for Yes Welder. You know, I, I can't, I feel like I can't really give you a good judgment on the machine because I don't know how to TIG weld. But I do appreciate it. Uh, just don't ask me to do any more. But I, I thank you, Yes Welder, very much for sending me this stuff out, handing me the helmet. I don't know what's up with the helmet. It's not working, so at least it was, at least, yeah, it was free. But if you guys got any comments, please be nice. Please be nice. 
I already said I'm an idiot, I'm an embarrassment, and I don't have any training, so. But maybe I need thicker welding rod. Uh, I thought, you know, because it's 16th inch metal, I would want 16th inch rod. But maybe, because it seems like when I get it hot enough to melt the rod into it, it's too hot for the material, or vice versa. I don't, I don't know. I, I need an education. <laughs> But uh, that's all I've got for today. I ran out of gas. This whole bottle is, is gone empty. Just practicing, farting around, wasting TIG welding rod. So, and I've got a massive headache. Even though it's the windows are open, the doors are open, uh, I'm over it for today. And I've got to get this video out. I don't even know why I would bother putting it out, but I owe Yes Welder a video on the TIG section so that being said if anybody else has this welder actually i know a lot of people since i put out the last video of the unboxing have picked up this welder or talked about already having this welder and so i would like to know their thoughts on the tig welding portion of it if they've done it and some tips and uh, other than everything what else i might have done wrong some obvious stuff that might help out i kept the tungsten clean i kept it sharp Every time I messed up, I kept the aluminum clean. So it's just a matter of amperage and like skill. Skill is a big one. But that's going to do it, guys. Until next time, please like, please subscribe, you know, to help me out. Not because you actually liked it, but because you feel sorry for me, maybe. <sighs> but until next time, peace.